creation is the next thing I want to do. It doesn't, you probably won't do it that often just for specific children. If they have trouble, maybe tapping the X is probably the most common. If you're, you can, and you can add this into every section, but you would have to do it. You go into each section and create the button. But I'll just do it in food. If I wanted to create a button that says clear message window, I would tap on that same pencil tool we're using and the one next to the button says add action. And here it's only got a set number of actions that you can add right here where it says action. It's got add text and message window, speak text immediately, speak message window, or clear message window. So this isn't, you can't really customize an action, you just pick from pre-selected things that they thought would be helpful. So I was saying I wanted to make one that clears the message window, so I can select that, go back. I don't really want to change any of this right now. And it already comes up with the clear message picture, which is helpful. So if I had here a lot of things in the message window. Clear message. I can just clear the message window with that. That's because again the same kids who like to type with the big letters would have trouble tapping this X. And I've seen that kids sometimes they try to delete it but they keep tapping the message window. So that confuses that as to how to delete things. So, any questions on action creation, you're going to see the different, if you would like me to do it. All right, so speech text immediately would be, as soon as you tap the button, it's going to say what yes. it is. Speak message window. Speak message so would that be for once it's all done, rather than tapping up there, you can tap that button? Yes. So that is action creation. And now we folder creation. Folder creation, as you see, some of these buttons have the little tabs on the top left. That means it's a folder. So all of those will go into a separate page cool. with different buttons or folders in them. So let's say I just wanted to create a folder called music. I would go into my pencil tool, add folder. And I want a new folder. You can link to an existing folder, but you probably wouldn't do it that often if you wanted to create another button that goes to a different folder. But generally, you just want to create a new folder. And I'll just call this music. So now